Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Math 180, which if you can see on the screen, it is the blue one right here. There's also a gray one, which oop, looks like that. This is course two, and this is the next level that I've just started teaching the past couple years. Um, it's a math intervention program that I find to be extremely successful for my students, which is why I wanted to look into it further. Um, the layout is like this, where you start the class all together with a quick problem known as the do now, and then you split between group instruction and personalized software. Group instruction is just like a typical class where they're learning a specific lesson and practicing that lesson. The personalized software is the key component of this that I really want to focus on. Um, it's when they get to work on their own in a really unique way. Um, so it looks like this. I would like to show you guys. This is one of my students who actually just left us. Um, he was he moved to a different school. So the software looks like this. It's similar to Facebook in the way you've got like the dashboard like this, which I find to be pretty appealing. Um, so it, it shows them the unit they're on, which is this is block two for him. He's on rates and ratios, shows all the different zones he can go into. So the explore zone is the real world example. You have a video of a man that is using math in his life and his is all about recycling and picking up trash and he's actually, uh, he received an award uh, for it from CNN, I believe. And then there's a simulation where you're kind of doing the same sort of thing, but you're using math in that simulation and showing how it applies to real life, which is cool. Um, the learn zone is where they do lessons that you learn in class, but they get to do it on this, like on this setup, on this, the computer, and they get to do it at their own pace. And they also get to use cool manipulatives like this. They have a bar model, which... I love these manipulatives because they can actually visually see what it's talking about. So here you have a bar model where it's splitting it into fours um, and then they're filling out a table as well. So this is an example of a lesson. You can see that it says fast track in the bottom here. That's just if they feel really good about this after doing a problem or two and they're like, ah, I don't need to do the whole lesson, then go to fast track and they can make it a little faster for themselves. There's also the Brain Arcade, which is to the right over here. That is the games that they can play. Um, they're all math related. They seem to enjoy them. We do a Brain Arcade competition on Fridays, which is always fun. They, they all compete against each other and sometimes even me. Um, and then I just want to point out at the top, you can see all the different things that they have access to. So the badges is just like fun things that they can earn and just to get them more engaged really. The progress is cool because it shows how well they're doing on the software. It shows how much they're on it. It shows, so here you can see a bunch of stats. The one I was just on, you can see a bunch of stats of the stars that they're earning, the percentage that they have complete, um, the usage. They all have to get 20 minutes every day. Obviously this guy doesn't have any because he hasn't been with us, um, which is why I'm on his account. Uh, Brain Arcade, this is the game section I was telling you about. You can see your percentages on that and how much time you are on it. Math Inventory is the test that they take before they start because what we do with this is we see their growth over the school year. So they'll take one in September, they'll take one in January, and then one in May. And the goal is that they all grow throughout the school year. Um, and then M skills, he is on block two, so you would have noticed he took his test for block one, got a 93, which is pretty good. And that test is actually a combination of what he learned in class in the group instruction and on this software. And it's just, it's multiple representations. It's them being able to learn things in so many different ways, but it's the same idea. And I absolutely love it. Um, if you go to the last one, the media, you can see all the videos, rewatch them if you're not understanding. You can see the M tools, that's the manipulatives and visual models that they get to use. And then glossary, you have the vocabulary terms. You can see I'm already running high on time. Um, and I guess that's my main concern and challenge with this is that there is so much to this program that I really want to share. 
um, in terms of my project and with you guys because I really find so much value in it that I'm struggling a little bit of what to focus on and the layout and the parameters of everything that I'm trying to get into this project. So that's my big concern. If you guys have any questions on this, feel free to ask me. There's just so much to it. There's our visual model one more time. Oh, by the way, this is this is my site, my teacher site of what I can see, so I can monitor all of my classes right on here. You can go to class analytics, and you can see how all of your students are doing. And I'm really over on time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this video off. But just feel free to ask me any questions. I think this is a wonderful program, and thanks for watching.